It's a process that so many of us have been through before. Your doctor orders a blood test, so you walk into a private clinic, you brace with a needle, and then wait a few days for that call from the doctor's office. Well, more and more labs are allowing you to check your results online. Dynacare here recently launched their own website, but in order to get in, not only do you have to roll up your sleeves, but reach into your wallet as well. Well, I don't like any any reason that you should pay for for anything health related in Canada. Test results are now available to patients in a pinch and for a small fee. I don't really think it's a it's a problem. Ontario's two largest private labs, Life Labs and Dynacare, now offer the option for patients to access their results online. Life Labs puts the raw data up for free. Dynacare recently launched a more comprehensive option, Dynacare Plus. And we provide a lot of content around what the terms mean because we hear this all the time. What does a high mean? What does a low mean? A website with more bells, whistles and health information on what it all means. But it comes at a cost, $20 a year. So it's about providing them with the tools, providing with, with information, um, context, so that they can go into their clinician, a nurse practitioner or doctor, and have a better conversation, have a more meaningful conversation. They're at our locations, then we transport those specimens here. The Ontario government pays private labs to take and process blood and urine tests not ordered through a hospital. It pays each company per test. And that's got to change, says this nurse and author on private labs. They make entirely... I'd say 90% of their income comes from OHIP or other public sources. And uh, if they're going to have a service which is useful to people, they should just be providing it for free. The Ministry of Health said today it's not opposed to the monetizing of health information, saying in a statement, the ministry does not fund a community laboratory corporation for offering the service of online lab results. We do encourage the timely development of innovative solutions that may benefit all Ontarians and the ministry does not want to limit the public's ability to access their lab information right now. However, paying a premium for health care leaves some patients sick to their stomach. It's a step in the wrong direction. Mobile health information is likely to be the next frontier for private labs like Dynacare here. The idea is as more Canadians want their health information right at their fingertips, more will be willing to pay for it. In Roncesvalles, Amanda Ferguson, City News.